show is going on at the Savannah's Ralph Mark Gilbert Civil Rights Museum. They're excited about sharing an historic mural that dates back to the 1940s. It tells the story of freed Africans in Georgia. The museum's executive director, Vonette Good Walker, takes us on a tour. This mural, called The Georgia Negro, once hung in the original Sears and Roebuck department store building in Savannah on Henry Street. In the 1940s, the company commissioned muralist Eugene A. Montgomery to create murals for their stores across the nation. This is one of two of the originals that still exist. So this one, though, is very special to, and to our museum because we tell the story of Georgia and civil rights, Savannah's civil rights. This story fits our story. Mm -hmm. Now the mural is almost like a dream sequence. It begins with what used to be a pavilion at Forsyth Park. Near the pavilion in Forsyth Park, they would often have huckster contests. And a huckster is someone who is selling vegetables and, and the like. The old vendors. Yes, the, old, the original vendors. Mm -hmm. no, well, next to the hucksters, of course, is a wagon, which we don't see that much anymore. But in 1946, that would have still been a part of some of Savannah's history mm -hmm. because the market was there until 1954. One of the scenes shows a woman with a crystal ball. Of course, fortune tellers might have been along West Broad Street. This scene is of the nursemaid mm -hmm. and the baby that perhaps is in her care, as well as some, some young guys enjoying some, a nice uh, cool watermelon. Cool. And as we all know, music has always been a huge part of Savannah's history. The other thing is dancing. And you know, you think of the Nicholas Brothers and, and the tap dancing and the, those kind of uh, skills that were a part of the 1940s into the 50s. But then you have this great scene of baptism, and then you have a choir of angels. However, that choir of angels is being conducted by none other than Hall Johnson, who was born in Athens, Georgia. Hall Johnson, the Hall Johnson Choir, was most known for <laughs> green pastures. And they performed in that, and they performed all over the country, but the green pasture scene was called the fish fry in heaven. Oh. So the man who's fishing and then you have the angels singing. You know. The last <laughs> scene is of Marian Anderson and George Washington, Dr. George Washington Carver, who saved the South with the peanut. And little children looking up in a dream sequence. That's the story of the Georgia Negro. Vonette Good Walker hopes this mural will inspire people of all ages to dream and realize they can do anything they set their minds to as long as they are willing to work for it. Well, about 500 students came to see that mural during Black History Month. In case you're wondering, when the original Sears store closed in Savannah, the mural was given to an employee who liked it. Her family found it in an attic after she passed away and sold it to an art collector. That collector loaned it to the museum here in Savannah. It will be on display at least throughout the month of March.